Billy from Mousewood here with Seth Hurst. He just ran his pre-meet at the Roy Gray Act 2016. Tell me how your pre-meet went. Uh, my legs felt really good. Uh, the course is pretty sloppy out there. I think after, if it stops raining here tonight, I think I'll be fine to race when I get the spikes in. But yeah, I mean, it should be a good race. Talk about some expectations. Do you have a game plan going into it, and what do you expect to come out of with it? Yeah, um, I'm really going for the win. Um, I've never won like a big invitational race yet, and uh, last year is just kind of see what I could do here, try to get my name out there, and then this year it's really coming in with the expectation of a win. Yeah. Awesome. Um, so I've seen you run a couple times this year, killed it, won by like a minute and a half or so, two races. What happened last weekend? Yeah, so last week I was at Iowa State, and um, I was feeling great on the warm-up, felt great for the first mile, I got out really fast, um, had a good probably 7,500 meter lead, and then um, I just started cramping really hard, which has never happened to me during a race. And I tried to work through it for about a half mile to a mile, and then my coach pulled me out. Um, it was just, I, I was trying to like hold my breath and run at the same time, and it wasn't really working. So um, yeah, I just drank a lot of water this week and made sure I'm hydrated. And I, I think it was just a one-time thing, so I think I'll be good. I was just gonna say, what do you think are some things you could do to make sure that doesn't happen again? But uh, yeah, that's weird. Was it really hot or anything? In particular, no, I mean like 75. I mean like dry. So I mean it wasn't anything like from what I'm used to running in Nebraska. So I don't know. It's kind of weird. I was, I was pretty frustrated. But like 10 minutes later, my legs felt fine and I did a pretty hard workout. So I mean, I don't, <laughs> what was I, your workout after? Uh, I just did a, th a three by mile. But I actually had to drive to a college visit right after the race, and my mom went to get Panera, and I was just so frustrated that I just got out with no warm up and I just sprinted for like three miles. Tore it so up. Mad, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, I guess speaking of college visits, do you know what schools you're thinking about going to or what visits you're going to take? Um, yeah, I got, I have visits up to, um, I visit Wisconsin Furman already and then I'll take one to Stanford, Georgetown and um, Oklahoma State. And so that's kind of where I'm at right now. Um, I'll just see after I'm done with all the visits. Awesome. How does visits go so far? Uh, they, they were both awesome programs. Uh, it, it'll definitely be a tough decision, I think. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So you did Foot Locker and NXN last year. Is that the same plan for this year? Uh, yeah, as of right now, if I'm feeling feeling good throughout the year, which I have been so far, um, I, I don't see why not. I mean, it's my senior year, so I think just try to do everything, I guess. Awesome. What are uh, what what's after this race? What you what are big races you'll be in? Um, it'll be pretty low key until my like districts and state, and then after that, I'll have a good three week break to really get ready for Nike and Foot Locker. So this is kind of my one big race of the season. Awesome. So, like you said, you seem like you're in shape. You had a little bit of problem. Uh, last meet with just cramping and stuff. What are, what, right now at the point you're at in your season, what do you have to work on to make sure you can stay ready to go for all these postseason races? Yeah, I think really um, changing, changing my speed during the race, um, getting ready for that last K, because I mean, right now I can kind of run away from guys, but once I, st once I start racing those top guys, it'll be pretty tough to get a distance between them, so I'm gonna really have to work on my closing speed. Awesome, man. Tell me one fun fact about yourself. Ooh, fun fact. Ooh, let me see. Oh, this is tough. What's a fun fact? Ooh, I love playing soccer. Awesome, awesome. Thank you very much and good luck. <laughs> Thanks.